trying to escape, are we? Oh. Brody was telling the truth. You hate me. What have you done with him? Nothing. More's the pity. I was this close to getting him here. But at least the police brought my damsel in distress act. They arrested him for Liberty's murder. We're not my dad's, though. My dad used to say, if you don't punish the bad kids, then you betray the good ones. And I'm the good one here. Brody destroyed my life. Prison isn't a good enough punishment for him. I want him to feel the pain that I felt when I lost my dad. <sighs> He has to lose you. <laughs> Without you in the world, Brody will die of grief. <laughs> and you... You'll just die. Stop moaning and get in the car. How many times? You should never have let Summer Ranger go. She's the one behind all this. In. Uh, officer, <laughs> you won't find a greater fan of our boys and girls in blue than yours truly. And believe you me, my date and app profile's proof of that. I do this clever thing about truncheons. I can show you if you want. Or maybe not. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to say is you're making a big mistake. Brody's not capable of taking someone's life. Friends and family always say that. Will you get in the car? Yeah, well, this time it's different. S step off and let me do my job. Get in the car. Brody's an innocent man. I said step off. All right, whatever you say, I was just trying to help. Hey, come back here. Control, PC Franks, request to urgent assistance. You know you don't want to do this. This is breaking my heart, but it's the only way I can get justice. And Brody will spend the rest of his days in prison knowing that I took you from him forever, just like he took my dad from me. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, sweet Sienna. I love you. No, please let me live. I don't have a choice! <laughs> it's like my dad said. Punish the bad ones. Are you okay? What's she giving you? I was only trying to stop her. You know, she might not mind if she takes someone else's life, but I do. Lip, the only thing that matters is you're alive. And I'm alive because of you. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I'd never have got to you if it wasn't for Cindy getting us out the store. And to think you wanted me to stay out of it. How stupid were you? I just thought if she was keeping Liberty in some lock-up, then there'd be an invoice somewhere with an address on it. And I was right. I couldn't get hold of you and Brody, so I had to rush to the rescue all on my lonesome. Well, thank you, both of you. Wait, where's Brody? He's been arrested. For your murder. Oh, well, then he'll be at the police station. I'll go get him out, it's no bother. Just being a hero yet again. <laughs> You're alive. Are you okay? At least you can tell the police someone was behind this now. Who, where is she? She's in the garage, but Brody. Her gun went off. She might be dead. She don't deserve that. I know she's messed up and dangerous, but all of this was just born out of her grief. It was me. I shot her in the leg. To save my life. Liv? Guys? Oh, no, please don't tell me she's dead. She's not. She's gone. Wait, what do you mean she's gone? She's gone, and she's taking the gun. Wait, wait. Then this means... 
means this isn't over. 